weekend. I have this Hero Cosmetics Force Shield here. I talked about this in a recent sunscreen review video and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from those of you who have been trying it out. It's a great everyday moisturizer with sunscreen, but it has a green tint, so it's nice for camouflaging redness. It's really good if you have oily skin because it doesn't feel greasy at all, but it's very moisturizing. But exciting news, I have a discount code with Hero Cosmetics. If you click the link in my description box, you can get 15% off site-wide. Today's video is in partnership with Hero Cosmetics, but if you aren't familiar, they make the Mighty Patch, which I highly suggest if you are somebody who gets breakouts and you are prone to picking them. This is a hydrocolloid patch that you can just put on. And the way it works actually is it helps to draw up some of the inflammatory exudate up out of the pimple. So it kind of facilitates healing. It provides a nice barrier on the pimple and it reduces friction, it just helps with healing and it reduces access to the pimple by your fingers, which ultimately if you pick, it can lead to scarring more acne, it's problematic. But they came out with these new Mighty Patches for the nose. They're the perfect size to go over your nose if you get breakouts on the nose and you're one of those people who likes to stare in the pore mirror and squeeze your blackheads and stuff. This is a great option for breakouts on the nose. Now, Mighty Patch um, from Hero Cosmetics, they use a really good quality hydrocolloid. It's very adherent, so it stays in place, but the patch is very thin, so you can comfortably wear it overnight while you sleep, and then you just remove it the following morning, and you can see like your sebum on the surface of the patch, as well as any inflammatory exudate that it has drawn up from a pimple that you might have. These are vegan and cruelty-free, and they're also, you know, obviously safe in pregnancy. I mentioned this in a recent Target Shop With Me video, but I have tried a lot of these hydrocolloid patches and some of them are just not very adherent. The thing I like about the Mighty Patch is that when you put it on, you can't tell that you have it on there. And so if you wanted to wear it during the day, you certainly could to camouflage the pimple. It actually looks better in my opinion than trying to cover it with like concealer or foundation because you know that ends up getting cakey and then it kind of just makes it look more obvious. If you wanna check out anything from Hero Cosmetics, my discount code will get you 15% off site-wide if you click the link in my description box. Plus, you can get free shipping on orders over $35. Today is another one of those like gloomy-ish days, but it's actually kind of pleasant outside. So I think I'm gonna go to the park again. I enjoyed doing that last weekend. I think I'm gonna go for another walk. This park is over by the medical center that I like going to. And this time I wanna walk over. I know they have an area of the park where there's like a pond where you can do those boats that paddle board boats i don't know what they're called so i think i may walk over there today HEB and I noticed they have the Hydro Boost fragrance free body gel cream. I really love this product. You know, you guys confirmed they did away with or discontinued the Hydro Boost overnight uh, body cream, which I really loved it. I think it was like a Walmart exclusive, but this is also really good. I've successfully used that on the face. It's nice and kind of lightweight. It's not greasy or anything. It's a great body moisturizer. Was it last weekend in Costco? They had the two pack of this plus the hand cream. I swear the hand cream is the same as the body lotion, but in a, in a hand cream tube. 
<laughs> Maybe that's just my imagination running away with me. CeraVe's Therapeutic Hand Cream. This can be hard to find. They have it here at HEB for $10.47. It's nice. Um, another discontinue, which I'm saddened to hear, per the threads on some of my comments, is a discontinuation of the uh, Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Fragrance-Free Hand Cream. That I've used for years. I can't believe they would discontinue that. It's like a classic. Comment below on if you've ever used it. This Cetaphil um, Advanced Relief Lotion with Shea Butter, it's also really good. I love this product, the Rough and Bumpy one. It's got 20% urea. And then I currently am using this a lot on my feet and loving it. I'm almost finished with it. Dove's, Dove Men's Care came out with some scented body washes for the face and the body. Wow, I love that marketing, face and body. Sandalwood and cardamom. That sounds like it would smell good. <laughs> What are these petty masks? 20 minute foot mask with moisturizers and coconut oil. These are kind of maybe like the Aveeno ones. Yeah. Lactic acid. It can kind of help soften the callus. Algin. Hydrating. Shea butter. These actually look pretty good. Comment below on if you've ever tried these. I've never seen them before. You know, HEB has some, sometimes often has products I don't see a whole lot in other stores. Like that hand cream, for example. I don't see that too, too often. These are the Avino ones I was talking about. These are quite good. Ew, what's up with Gold Bond's Advanced Healing Skin Protectant Ointment? Ceramides, it has lavender in it. Hmm, It'd probably be good for the bottoms of the feet. HEB has a great selection of sunscreens. Like their store brand selection is extensive. This sensitive mineral one for the face looks good. It's just a, it's a zinc oxide sunscreen. Probably very casty, but. Ugh. I've never heard of this brand, Ready In Case. Is this like an HEB store brand of Adapalene? $9.97 for half an ounce in comparison to $14.97. Same active ingredient. Has anyone tried Panoxol's oil control moisturizer? It's a mineral sunscreen. Looks promising. SPF 30, maybe as a you know daily moisturizer with sunscreen. Is it water resistant? It doesn't appear to be. It's good they came out with a sunscreen though. You know, people with acne obviously need sunscreen. I mean, everyone does, so. I think it's cool they came out with a sunscreen instead of like, I don't know, a witch hazel toner or something. Semi-useless. Like I know it's a lot of effort to go through the approval process of making a sun, you know, having a sunscreen in your line, but it's just like in the tier ranking of what's most important to have in a skincare line, I always find that they brush off the single-handed most important thing for the convenience of like selling 10 different serums. Acne Free has a sulfur acne foaming cleanser. It looks like it's scented with lemon oil. Sulfur is anti-inflammatory and it's also helpful for um, rosacea. Although the uh, fragrance in this and the glycolic acid would probably sting if you have rosacea, just a guess. Everyone's rosacea is different. Is it bad that this uh, children's electrolyte fluid looks kind of tasty? The mango flavor? <laughs> he cute. Chamomile and honey. All right, so I scooted in here to Old Navy. I saw they were having a store-wide 50% off sale. I don't normally wear long dresses, but this one's kind of cute for summer. Be cute with like white sandals. All right, I also tried on this little dress. It's kind of cute and it's got the straps you can adjust just by tying the ribbon. But I wanted to try on this little denim jacket on over. It's kind of boxy, which I don't really like, but I thought it would go cute with this. 
feel like this mirror is better. Better lighting. Well, hey guys, I just filmed a long outro and then I realized that my autofocus button was all kind of glitchy twitchy and I think the footage was all blurry. So I am out of the shower, obviously. I finished my skincare routine. I was chatting with you guys about this Gold Bond Pure Moisture Body Lotion. I put it on my face. It's marketed actually for the body and the face. I put it on my face and my body as my moisturizer. And I think it's a good alternative for those of you who find that the CeraVe cream burns and stings. Try this one out. It has ceramides. It does have hyaluronic acid. I know some of you find that that um, causes irritation for you, but it's got, it. oh, it does have niacinamide. So if you're irritated by niacinamide, then this does not have niacinamide in it. Anyway, it's just some subtle differences. This one has grapeseed oil in it. So it's more emollient. So that's why I was commenting that my face looks shiny, but I really like it. It's a good and affordable option. The other thing I was chatting with you guys about is um, sunless tanner. I, I was chatting with you guys about how I recently saw some sunless tanners in Kroger and I was pointing them out to you. I can't remember what vlog that was, a couple of weeks ago. And it reminded me, you know, with spring and summer fast approaching, be here before you know it. Let me know in the comments, do you use sunless tanners? Because they have actually been shown to offer a little bit of UVA protection. So when used, you know, in conjunction with sunscreen, it may, you know, actually enhance your sun protection game. They can be irritating, however, um, but, but, you know, they're safe to use. There's no evidence that they're harmful or anything or that they age the skin. I know, like I did a video on that a while ago. So check that out if you're curious. But yeah, they're safe to use. The only thing that we don't know about is how safe they are on like the mucosal membranes, the eyes, inside the nose, the mouth. I mean, places where you're not gonna be trying to tan, but if you go in a spray tan booth and they're spraying it all around, make sure that you protect your eyes, you, you know, cover your mouth and nose, you don't inhale. Um, because we don't know, like, getting that, like, especially if you were to inhale that and it could get in the lung, that's probably not safe, but otherwise, yeah, they are, they are safe. I don't use them because I, I don't know, I'm just not really motivated to have a tan look, but the other advantage of using them is that they can provide some cosmetic camouflage for things like, you know, little varicose veins and stuff that you may be bothered by the appearance of. It's almost like body makeup in a sense. Uh, I have used though in the past the Jergens Gradual Sunless Tanning Lotion. I used that a long time ago and I was always happy with it. I didn't know about that the mitt thing back then though and my palms would always be like <laughs> orangey but I don't know, I didn't care. Yeah, I didn't care about that. It was only here and there and I would, I would mostly use them like on my legs. And then I've also tried the L'Oreal. L'Oreal makes these drops that I, they were, I saw them last year and I tried them out. They're nice because you can just put them in moisturizer and it actually ends up working out pretty well. You would think that it would be patchy or clumpy, but that was not my experience when I used it. I put it in um, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Lotion. I would put, put it in that and it worked really well. It didn't go on streaky. It was a gradual tanning thing and I only did my legs just to test it out. Anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments if you use sunless tanners. I would love to know, but I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here uh, because this is my second time concluding the video. Don't forget, check out the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch, especially if you're somebody who tends to pick at your skin a lot. They're really helpful. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.